longer path. I'm gonna get this trail done. Seeing about 30 miles. That's where we're going. Once again, found the orange blazes. What's happening, everybody? So, here we are on the old logger's path again, testing out some more gear. My brother's along this time. He's testing out some of his gear. We're gonna just have a nice weekend. Cool weather, low humidity, full moon. I don't know how it get much better. But anyway, we're just gonna test some things out. Hopefully get a little footage from you that I didn't get from before. Hopefully I'm a little bit better at doing these videos and editing, make it a little bit better to watch. Let me know what you think. But the uh, plan is to go about 13 miles, stay at a creek, do another 12, 13 tomorrow, stay at Rock Run. And then uh, finish out the last day, six, eight miles, something like that. Unless we get a wild hare, end up finishing it. We'll see how the day goes. Don't even really have much of a sweat, it's so nice out. But as for now, see some cool sights. We'll let you know. Oh, by the way, I got rid of that squeak in my backpack, at least for now. So, I'm not as nuts. Been on a slow steady climb here for a good bit. Nothing that's not manageable though. So like I said, uh, we come across something cool, I'll let you know. I'll pop back on here, but for now, it's just up this hill and through the woods. Peace out. Yeah, this might be the last final voyage for these boots. Yeah, it's the final ones for my shoes. There's where we're headed. Taking a little breather, checking the shoelaces getting a drink of water beautiful day it's supposed to be high as 70 low in the 40s I know I didn't bring warm enough stuff but I would shiver than sweat any day of the week but uh, nothing to show you yet but we're coming up on some cool views so stay tuned we got the small little green tunnel coming up here Watch you out here.
This is the biggest climb so far. I would say we're probably halfway up. Oh. It's gonna be a little bit. Just to prove we're still alive. I don't know, once we get to the top, we'll see. All right, we just made probably the steepest climb of this whole almost 30 mile trail. And uh, we're gonna head up to this view. Looks like there might be a clearing up here. Let's go check it out. Shabby. I just did a road walk. Now we're starting a descent. And the descent is pretty decent. So we're walking along a narrow path. Oh, that's probably 30 feet drop. And then it just keeps dropping. Well, it gets a little narrow. say you got a good two feet before you go over I don't might have five feet here that's you steep Oh, picked up a squeak again in my backpack. We'll see. It might end up down there. Looks like it's a little squatchy up there. I believe we're going to keep going down until we hit Pleasant Stream, Pleasant Creek, Pleasant Creek, Stream, whatever, something like that. But uh, we come across something cool. Right now we're just walking down the side of this mountain, slowly heading down too. So, beautiful day out. It's going to be a little chilly tonight. Talk to you in a bit. There's home, sweet home. It's where I stayed the last time between that tree and that tree but it's still early we're gonna carry on let me take a picture of the creek here or take a little shot of this creek is really dry 
And this was about three feet last time I came, about a month and a half ago. And yeah, she's uh, she's a little dry. Well, that's where we came. That's where we're going. Let's go see what we get into. Yeah, when I said that's steep, that's where we came from. That's where we're going. Lovely. Get her done. We came down the hill there, across the stream. Now we just crossed the stream where I stayed the last time. We came. Oh, about a mile or two and hit this site. So I think this is where we're staying. Pretty much right off the trail, but Matt's having problems with his feet. So, uh, trail goes up that way. So, this is home tonight. I don't know if we're going to put our tarps up or not, but uh, this is where we're going to camp. Hopefully we get a fire going and just take our time. And uh, baby them feet on the way out and uh, see what happens. I'll show you when we get all set up. Well, here we are by the water. Matt's jamming food down his throat. I just, mine's cooking right now. He had four guys walk by us and they went way back in the woods back there as a sight back there but other than that we're just uh gonna eat some dinner by the time it'll get dark moon will come out we'll bark at it a couple times and hopefully we'll get uh on the road tomorrow and not have too many problems with matt's feet and who knows with my luck we could have more issues but uh for now we'll deal with this nice little campsite we'll listen to this trickle down We'll have plenty of water if nothing else. Here's my rig. There's Matt's rig. And I made a little clothesline so everybody see my laundry when they go by. Took a redneck shower and we're ready to go. Hell yeah. Nothing else we'll see in the morning or when we're barking at the moon. That's where we slept last night. Right in the big valley. There's a bunch of guys sleeping way back. About 200 yards back there, about five guys. Five guys. There's where the natural explosions were last night. We had some wood that exploded like fireworks. It was crazy. There's the campsite. All cleaned up and ready to go. I think we made an executive decision to uh, at least hike down the rock run which is i think we figured 10 miles eight, eight miles eight ten eight eight miles eight nine miles something like that and then decide if we're staying there or head up the huge hill and then back down the parking lot so either going to be an eight mile or a 15 mile either way we're going hiking talk to you soon Nothing like a good, steep early morning climb.
on top of the ridge coming out of the camping area there. I think we'll have a little little up and down until we get to the next little incline and then we'll have a I think a shelter and a vista. I think we have two vistas today. Best one was yesterday. The wild part in his natural habitat. Looks pretty squatchy. All right. So, let me get my poles here. All right. So, got a little flat walk here. Just came off of a rattlesnake hill there. That was actually called Sullivan Mountain. <clears throat> Didn't see any snakes, which is, I'm not complaining. And uh, had a little descent, and now we're pretty much walking straight. I think next we have a shelter, and then it's rock run, and then we're going to decide if we're making it to the end, but it sounds like we might. Um, my phone was like at 5%, and it just wouldn't charge, and all of a sudden, boom, now it's 60%. So I got to get some somebody that knows about these phones to look at it before it gets smashed. But uh, right before we got... To that mountain we heard some hikers and I heard one guy whistling and I could see him I mean as clear as day he was maybe 30 yards and we got up to him he said did you see that bear I said no he said, yeah I was yelling at it I said well I thought you were yelling for a dog I heard you whistle and say I thought she said come here and here it was a bear he said it was 50 feet from him so we didn't hear it crash or see it but uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled. It'd be really cool if we could see one. But for now, we're just pedaling forward and trying to knock this day out, if possible. But uh, see anything cool, we'll let you know. But that's where we were. That's where we're going. And Matt says we're not going to miss a trail to get off track we haven't gotten off track yet but day still early last time i went for a walk they were calling for severe storms so i made an effort to do the trail in two days and this is exactly why if this would come through something big came through here there's a ton of trees down everywhere That means I'm gonna take a break. So the last time I was down here, that was screaming down into Rock Run. It was also, I couldn't even cross that to get over here. But now that we're over here, 
Squatch is going swimming. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try it. Oh. And now that he did it, you know I gotta do it. Thanks, Matt. But it does feel good. Where'd you go in right here? Yeah. Should get my hiking holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as slick as it looks. Point of no return. Here we are for right Bart's there. Bart's make a wish. Where we're going all right we just uh, finally hit the top of the mountain after the infamous climb and now we're doing the last couple miles to the parking lot and it should be all downhill have not seen any wildlife other than Sasquatch no bear, no deer, no turkey, no snakes, nothing. So I guess we'll have to bring some wildlife next time. But for now, if anything cool pops up, we'll let you know. Matt's up there describing what he's gonna what he's gonna have for dinner. <laughs> This will make a, what, 16 mile day? 15? Uh, 17 miles. My phone quit working and I forgot my watch. I was really prepared for this one. Ironically, I had pretty much everything I needed. Didn't get too cold last night, although it got cold. But a beautiful night to be outside beautiful day to be hiking. Picked up the squeak again. Backpack is squeaking. Yeah, for a little bit. Wow. I'm glad we're not going up this thing. Holy smokes. Almost busted my ass on that one. It'll get me sooner or later. Oh, heading into some pines, maybe? Looks pretty cool.
like there's no pain. Yeah. Well, do you think that's where we're coming out? Oh, this is better than expected then. <laughs> well, Matt's excited because uh, he thought we were coming in where we started, but it's a, it's a loop. So, you can see the cars down in the parking lot. Made it to the end. Hey, we never did see that saw blade, did we? 